congratulations, my friend. How does it feel to be the two-time winner of King of the Hammer? Try to hold it together, buddy. It's been three long years, Rick. I just, I've been, you know, dreaming about doing this again since we won in 2012, and you know, we've been right there every single year and had a problem, you know, that took us out of the lead, and you know, that's just so hard to swallow when you put all this time, energy, and effort in, and I got all these people behind me that, you know, really allow us to do this. I'm a small part. I was huge today. I don't know how Dave reduced the miles of this course and made it that much harder. I have never been this beat after a race in my life, and we took it easy on the car. That was the strategy. Keep this thing together. You know, the last thing I wanted to do was work on it. We, the only real big mechanical issue we had was top of Sledgehammer Canyon. That's no joke, no matter what day you're wheeling it. We, we uh, had a drive shaft issue, bent that thing, and uh, got up to the top and realized we couldn't go over 20 miles an hour. So Rob and I jumped out, changed the shaft real quick, and right in the middle of it, uh, moving the car to tighten one of the U-bolts, the thing popped out of gear and starts rolling off that mountain up there toward Hammertown. And yeah, you're laughing now, I was scared for my life. I jumped on the tire and started running with it, and it was one of those flight or fright things, man. It was like, get in or just get out and let the car go. And I hung onto this cage for my dear life. Got in, stabbed the brakes, and we made it. But I'm lucky to be here with Rob. I gotta thank all my, this is just a team effort all the way around. Um, you know, first and foremost, my family, they support me and they're here, you know, all the time. My freaking friends, my team, they are just killing it, man. I'm telling you, I couldn't do this alone. And lastly, my sponsors. Eric, did you know where you were most of the race? Did you know what a commanding lead you had for at least the second portion of the day and how far really you had on the field? Chad, I, I really had no idea. I mean, we had good comms all day. Um, you know, this thing's been great for that. I've been able to talk clearly to my pit, thanks to Rugged. But uh, I'll be honest, you know, I was surprised when I saw a couple of checkpoint guys hold up a one because I'm like, where did they go? I don't remember passing them, whether it was in the pits, in the rocks. I don't remember. I was running my own pace. Rob and I set out this year. We know this car is wicked fast and it'll just implode itself if you push it to the limit. So we dialed it back. We ran 70% all day. We cruised in. I've never come across that last section on four tires like that. I mean, I'm just, I'm just so excited to be here. Well, you, you did. You had a big, big lead. I mean, right now we're showing you at least 25 minutes over sheer at this point. So you, you know, you weren't command of the race for the majority of the day. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta give it to Jason. He's out there in a single seat car, keeping up. I knew he was biting on my heels, but I know if we just, you know, kept it smart, kept it conservative. That's what it takes to win here. Um, you know, I, I really, I have to thank Nuno Tire. We didn't change a tire all, all day. These things are shot, but they did everything they were supposed to. They hooked on every climb. Uh, you know, we, we winched twice, we winched back door, that was the plan. Three times, and we winched uh, the uh, plaque line. We got <laughs> we got jacked up in jackhammer, my own mistake. Rob got out, pulled cable. I gotta thank Warren, we had that new wireless winch remote. That thing was awesome all day, so proud to be here. This don't feel bad, because I don't think anybody made it through sledgehammer on, you know, on her. There, there was a pile up there, and just clean for a while. Sledge is such a sick trail, and I got a quick story on that. You know, most guys, you know, night of the race, they're here at Tech, shining their cars up, have dinner, go to bed early. We're like, yeah, we made a spring rate change in the back, let's run up the sled and see what black line looks like. So we were up there about 7 o'clock and shot the line. We're like, all right, you know, our strategy's going to work, we'll make it right through. Decided to back out and get back to Hammertown to finally tech this car and, uh, you know, get stuff packed. Well, backing up, I, uh, I dropped the tire into a hole. I couldn't see Rob, it was dark, and rolled this thing right on the roof. So we were up at Sledgehammer last night, eight o'clock, upside down. We were there until about 10, pulled the plugs, cranked all the oil out of the motor, but this car's lucky to start it, let alone one. <laughs> Here, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from the 2016 Minnow Tires, the King of the Hammers champion, Eric Miller. Woo!